Tonight's Tiger starting pitcher is Matthew Boyd. Matt looking for his fifth win after seven quality starts in a row. Here's Alex Bregman. Here's the 2-2 from Boyd. Drilled to third right at Jamer Candelario. Analytics had him played perfect, right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, this ball is a rocket. Jamer barely had time to get his hand up by his head. But he caught it. And the Adam ball works again. And now Michael Brantley, what a find, or dare I say pickup. Here's the 2-2 pitch. A little tapper that Boyd will handle and tag Brantley out. Looks like he's ready to face the 31 year old native of Palm Beach, Florida, Brad Peacock. Fly ball to right field. That will send Springer back to the warning track. Has room. It looks like it. He makes a great catch, George, right up against the fence. Pulling a Josh Reddick on the first play of this road trip. Well, had some serious loft underneath it, underneath it, off the bat of Goodrum. George does a good job of getting back and finding a spot on that outfield wall. You can see him feeling for it and then launching himself up there to get that ball. The feel for the, the fence and went up and said, I'll just take the home run away and uh, he can really jump. That is the highest level of excitement we've seen from Peacock. Yeah, it was an explosion of emotions. Here facing Nicholas Castellanos. Castellanos goes down swinging as Peacock picks up a strikeout on the fastball. His first strikeout tonight after a career high dozen his last start. Here's Miguel Cabrera. On the ground, Correa goes down to the ground and makes a throw on a bounce to get Cabrera for the final out of the inning. Nice play by Carlos. He knew once he made the play, he could take his time. Hard hit ball, out number three. Good play by Carlos Correa. Well, what a play. Man, oh, man. Biggie's apparently trying to stay oh. in this game. <laughs> stay <laughs> away from those umpires. Yeah, we'll remind you, he was ejected in the first inning the other day in Minnesota, uh, arguing balls and strikes. He didn't like that strike call. All right. And he let the home plate umpire know about it. That same pitch, according to Cabrera, was not called on Marwin Gonzalez. And that's when Cabrera started to lose it. And that's when he was ejected by Chad Whitson. And Ron Gardenhire was too late to save him. Aletmus Diaz getting his 18th start of the season. Aletmus Diaz deep to left field. This ball's well gone deep into the seats as Diaz gets things started for the Astros in the Motor City with a solo home run. He's turning into the Cuban Missile. That is a beautiful pure swing. His fourth of the season. It's 1-0. Walks Tyler White. Here's Robinson Torinos. Torinos hits one deep to right field. Castellanos will watch this one sail away. Wow. Robbie Chirinos, three home runs against Matthew Boyd and eight at bats, and some two out thunder for the Astros tonight. Almost looked as if Boyd doffed his cap to Robinson Chirinos. That ball was crushed. Now two on with two outs for Jacoby Jones. Jones looking at a call third strike of the knees, and that'll do it for the Tigers. They strand runners on second and third. Looks for the sign. He's got it. Checks the runner on second. It's a 3-2 count to Cabrera. This one's poked into right field, slicing toward the line. Springer, a long run. Does he have room? Yes, he does in foul territory. And that'll do it for the Tigers here in the third inning. So Peacock teetering, but he maintains a 3 to nothing lead as we go to the fourth. Same situation last time Grayson Griner was up. Had runners at second and third with one down. The payoff. Driven to left. Brantley drifting back, and he's going to make the grab. Candelario will tag. The Tigers are on the board, thanks to Grayson Griner's sacrifice fly. Now facing Miguel Cabrera. This one up the middle. Diaz, nice backhand play from his backside, makes the throw in time to get Cabrera. Miggy's been robbed by Correa, now led Ms. Diaz. Correa, Guriel, and Diaz do up for the Astros here in the sixth. Drills one to short. Oh, nice stab by Ronnie Rodriguez. Strong arms it to first. Great Good play. Goodrum picks it out of the dirt. Great play on both ends. That wasn't the, the ball we were just talking about, the one hopper. That was unintentional, but uh, Nico on the other end did a nice job. Great play here by Ronnie Rodriguez to basically in self-defense. And look at that pick right there by Nico. One down in the sixth. Yuli Guriel. 0 for 2. He'll test Rodriguez. Same play. Almost the exact same play. 
a better throw this time. And Rodriguez <laughs> started to trot off the field and realize, wait a minute now, I've only done it twice. I got a chance to do it three times. I think what he needed, what he was saying <laughs> is, you know what, that's good enough right there. Two for the price of one, right? We'll get two outs. Here's Jake, one for two with a single. Jake drills one. Deep left center field. This ball's gone. Jake Marisnik, his fourth home run of the year. Astros have all three of their home runs from the six through nine spot in the order, and it's now five to one. Jake's third steal of the year. Now scoring position for George Springer. There's a ball ripped into center field. Jake will score easily. Gives Springer his 38th run batted in of the season. Leads the American League in that category, and the Astros lead 6-1. to one. Brings up Bregman, who's 0 for 4 tonight. 1-0. And that's cranked deep to left field. Going back is Stewart at the wall. He leaps, and that ball is gone. A home run, a two-run shot for Bregman. And the Astros' lead is 8-1. to one. Nico Goodrum bats two outs, and the base is empty. Although Goodrum drives one deep to right. Can George get there? Yes, he dives on the warning track to end the game. Claps all around from the Astros as Springer starts the game and ends the game by robbing Nico Goodrum.